So, you just bought a bearded dragon from a big chain pet store. Never do it again. The breeders that supply these big chain pet stores, they have been known to be the equivalent of puppy mills, but for reptiles. So don't buy from them again, please and thank you. So their health tends to not be the greatest. All right, got my handy dandy laptop. I went in person to a pet store and asked them how to care for a bearded dragon and I recorded it um, and I'm going to be reviewing what they said. I'll be correcting it with the proper care. So let's get right into the footage. Hi there. Um, I was wondering if someone could help me with information about the bearded dragon. If you can start with something like a 20, but eventually full grown, they're going to be in a 40 gallon tank. They get about 24 inches long, including the tail. So they get pretty big. That is correct. Um, a minimum is technically 40 gallons. Um, I prefer much larger for my pets. I think it makes them a lot happier. <laughs> According to Google, 40 gallons is the minimum. If you do have a 40 gallon tank for your bearded dragon, you're already doing better than the majority of bearded dragon owners, sadly. Similar to a leopard gecko in the care. I'm gonna stop them right there. Don't, don't listen to anyone who tells you that they are the same, they're not other than they're going to eat greens. So they'll eat spinach, romaine lettuce, stuff like that, just mustard greens. So yes, your bearded dragon will eat a mix of insects and greens. Um, however, I'm going to correct what he said. You don't want to feed your bearded dragon lettuce, any sort of lettuce. The only thing it's good for is water. It has absolutely no nutrients in it for your bearded dragon. I'm going to put on screen some good greens that you should be feeding your bearded dragon. Okay. Um, and they need a UVB light. They are gonna need a UVB light, and that is that light bar right there behind me. This is like sunlight to a bearded dragon. They absorb a lot of nutrients through it, and they do need it. If you don't give them a UVB, they will most likely get metabolic bone disease, and they can't recover from that. They will be stuck with it for the rest of their lives. Please get your bearded dragon a UVB. Thank you. Um, very important um, for their health. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's literally pretty much the same care as a um, leopard. No. But just with the UVB light and the greens. It's crickets they eat, mealworms, stuff like that. They'll eat any kind of bug along with the greens. I would recommend Dubia roaches. Both of my bearded dragons are big fans of those. They don't stink like crickets do, but crickets and mealworms are good as well. Just make sure you're dusting their food with calcium. He did leave that out. You need to dust their food with calcium. What if we wanted to get like, more than one? You can have to be females though. Two males will fight, um, and a male and a female will breed. So if you're okay with them breeding, you can have a male and a female, but if you do not want breeding or fighting, you need two females. Absolutely not. Do not ever house two bearded dragons together. I know there are cases of where bearded dragons can cohabitate uh, fine, however, Nine out of 10 times, it ends up with bearded dragons missing limbs or tails, and it's just, it is very stressful for them. Do not house your bearded dragons together. So that is all that the pet store employee covered um, in terms of care for a bearded dragon, but I'm going to include um, a few more things at the end here. The employee neglected to mention a heat lamp, which I think is a very, very important part of your bearded dragon's enclosure. Um, her heat lamp is right there. I have a 150 watt in there because of how far away it is from her basking spot. Um, I would probably recommend a 100 watt for the majority of tanks because um, you don't want it too hot, but you want the basking spot at a pretty high temperature. Your heat lamp is going to be on one side of the tank. You don't want it right in the middle because you want a uh, cool side of your tank where the bearded dragon can go to cool off if it gets too hot. Water for bearded dragons. I know that sounds simple, like put a water bowl in their enclosure. I do recommend bathing your bearded dragon at least once a week. This can prevent clogged pores, um, which is very, very common in male bearded dragons. And it's a good way to make sure that your bearded dragon does stay hydrated. Other ways that you can keep your bearded dragon hydrated is through like dousing their greens with water. Uh, so when they eat the greens, they get all the water too. I'm gonna get a little bit more into the bearded dragon diet because again, he didn't really cover it that much. If you have a baby bearded dragon or a juvenile bearded dragon, their diet is gonna mainly be 50% greens and 50% 
bugs or insects. When they get older, you're gonna wanna give them less bugs and more greens because their metabolisms do slow down. And I think that just about covers everything. If I left anything out that comes to mind while editing, I will put it in the description down below or put it on screen right here. Um, but yeah, I hope that this cleared up any misinformation that you might have gotten or answered any of your questions if you do have more questions please comment them down below and if you found this video useful please like and subscribe and i hope to see you around on my channel